Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Clutch here, and today guys, we're back in the NBA 2K21. I hope you guys are having a great day and everything is going well for you guys. Today what we're going to do is I'm going to be showing you guys how you can build Lou Williams here in NBA 2K21. So, real quick guys, everyone knows Lou Will is like one of the best six man in the league. Like, you know, he's continually like, that's what he's warranted as, like... He could start, he should start generally on every team. Against most starting point guards, he'd have, you know, the good argument of being a starting guard, but it's like he so, plays so well off the bench, they just keep him there. But either way, for this build, I'm going to make it a point guard. You can go two guard if you want. I'm going to go left-handed, jersey number 23. Hand in this jersey number, does not matter. Um, pick whatever you want, does not matter at all. Uh, whatever you prefer on your players, go ahead and go, and go with that. Now, for these body settings, guys, I've seen listed as 6'1", 6'2", somewhere in there. In the game, he's listed as 6'1", but online, he's listed as 6'2". So I'm going to go just with 6'2". It doesn't really hurt you at all. It doesn't hurt anything, so I'll just go 6'2 to be an inch taller. His wingspan, I could not find, so I just went with the middle. I'm going to go with this uh, 6. You could go 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, um, again, I just don't want to have short arms. I don't want to have like really tall, long arms because it's like this doesn't hurt you. It's not really benefiting you going any shorter than that either. It's just hurting you. So you might as well go like 6'6 six, six to 6'8 six, somewhere in there. Um, either way, it's not going to hurt. Um, it doesn't matter. You could even bring this all the way up. It's not going to hurt you at all. Bring it out. Go with the 6'11 wingspan. It's not hurting you. Like, um, if you look at this, it's helping you more than hurting you. I mean, it's hurting your shot a little bit, but that's if you max them out. So it's not really hurting your ball handle, and you don't need a 95 ball handle for anything in this game. But either way, um, body shape, I'm going to go with Define. Static, it doesn't matter at all. Pick whatever one you prefer, whichever one you like. I'm just going to go with Define, guys. And again, we're going to upgrade these physicals uh, at first, like I always do. Again, I said these every single time. The reason I do this is, like, the first few times I was making builds, I kept forgetting about it. And I was like, it was really frustrating at the end to, like, go back and, like, realize I forgot this. And these are things you don't want to forget about, especially on a guard build. You want your speed. You want your acceleration. All right, guys, so this is what I have for this Lou Williams build right now. We got 5, 15, 11, and 8. Now, I maxed out this rebounding just so we can get more defensive badges. And if you guys don't know, in 2K, when you max out your rebounding, it gives you, like, more defensive badges than anything else. But what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to touch this a little bit. So I feel like 8 is good for him. Um, we, we're not going to get Intimidator with this build. We can't get it. We can't hit Chase on Artist. It's just you're too short. It's not going to let you get it. So these last one points, I'm going to spend this on my driving dunk just so we're able to finish a little bit better. I just want to see if we can possibly get contact dunks. Now, I know Lou Williams doesn't have contact dunks, but the only reason I'm doing this is because, for one, it just makes the build more explosive. I feel like and it gives you that opportunity to do those. So I just want to see if we can tweak with this and, you know, get that lower sum of, like, our driving layup because, really, what's the point of having it higher? Would I rather have contact dunk animations? Like, whether they're just the pro contact dunk animations. I get the build 6, too, and Lou Williams doesn't have it, but this, we're still getting eight finishing badges. I just tweaked these stats a little bit. I lowered the driving layup. That way we're getting that, at least. Um, we're still getting that, and I just feel like having that opportunity is better. Like, why wouldn't you want that on a build? It just helps because then you can dunk on people. You don't have to worry about not being able to finish at the rim. Like, it just makes the build better to play with. And then I'll spend this. You could go wherever you want. It really doesn't matter. It's like one point. But either way, we're going to finish with 8, 15, 11, and 7 guys for this build. Now, for these takeovers, for Lou Will, I would say you're going to go with a shooting take. It doesn't really matter which one you pick. Um, it does not matter at all. I would say pull-up precision would be the first one I'd go with. And then probably spot-up precision. Um, otherwise, you could go with like negative impact, which is something you could definitely do. So I'll actually yeah go with pull-up precision and negative impact for these takeovers, guys. For this build, we are going to be getting a shot creator. Now, here for our shades of, we're going to be getting Mike Conley, Nick Van Exel, and Steph Curry. But either way, I feel like this is similar to Lou. I feel like this is how he plays, and I feel like a shot creator is a great representation of him. But when it comes to these badges here on this Lou Williams build, guys, I would say for these finishing badges, again, he wouldn't have posterizer, but I'm going to put it on here. Why wouldn't you? You're hurting yourself. I would say go Pro Touch on silver, Giant Slayer on silver, and then I'm going to put Fearless Finisher on bronze. Otherwise, just throw Fearless Finisher up to gold so you're able to finish a little bit better, but that's what I'll go with, guys. Now, for these shooting badges, I'm going to go with Difficult Shots on gold. I'll put Catching Corner on bronze. Again, I just like these badges. I like Catching Corner. If you don't like them, don't use them. I'm going to put Dead Eye on silver, Deep Threes on silver, Circus Threes I'll throw up to Hall of Fame. Now, you can use Blinders on silver. Otherwise, just throw both these on gold. That's what I'm going to do with for these shooting badges here guys now when it comes to these playmaking badges handles for days put that on hall of fame i'll put bailout on bronze i'm gonna throw a quick first step on gold now again this comes down to what you want to do at the end here with these last three i feel like these three badges you're gonna want on every guard i really do quick first step handles for days bailout on bronze you're gonna want them this comes down to how you want to play i feel like you can go relay passers space creator stop and go you can go special delivery if you want to tight handles unpluggable ankle breaker you can go with floor general Needle Threader, you can pick any of these. Pick whatever one you like. I'm going to go with Ankle Breaker um, on gold. I just want to have that, you know, be able to break some people's ankles possibly. So I'm going to go with that. But again, that comes down to personal preference. Now, 
for these defensive badges. Clamps, I'm gonna put on gold. You can use ankle braces if you want. With this build, you're gonna want pick dodger. You're probably gonna be getting screened a lot. And then I'm gonna throw off ball pest, trapper, and then ankle braces just on bronze. Again, off ball pest, trapper, clamps will all work together to help, you know, force ball pickups. That's what you want with this build. You wanna just kind of be able to be a pest with these seven defensive badges. And then clamps, again, will help, you know, with those two badges. So ankle braces, again, just help not fall down. Um, that's what I'm gonna go with. But here's how I feel like you guys can build this Lou Williams build here in NBA 2K21. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe for more NBA 2K21 builds. But anyway, guys, it's been King Clutch here. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Anyways, have a great issue day and peace out, guys. Thanks.